New at 5, a warning for people getting ready to close on a new home. The email linked to your bank, realtor, or even the title company can be hacked. It turns out it's a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has the story. This is big business, big enterprise, and unfortunately growing year over year. He's talking about business email compromise, a hack and spoof method used by cyber thieves to impersonate your bank or title company in an email like this. It's good enough to convince home buyers to wire their money away without hesitation. They're not just working on one transaction, Mike. It's a pipeline of transactions. In fact, between June 2016 and December 2021, that pipeline, according to the FBI, tapped $43 billion globally. It's just such easy money for them. Tom Cronkite admits he fell for it 15 years ago. Now he's running Certified, a Michigan-based company providing software security for 300 title companies in all 50 states. We ultimately help title companies safely transfer money in and safely disperse money out when there's a real estate closing. Cronkite has assembled evidence from victims fooled by spoofed emails to educate the public at large. It's easy to be fooled. Just ask Lila Jones of Chicago. She's a victim. And they said, where's the money? I'm like, hey, we sent it a couple days ago. It wasn't there. She recorded this video diary of her experience as a warning. Jones was duped by a fake email she thought came directly from her title company. In the end, she lost $130,000. That was March 29th. I felt like a lot of, a lot of shame, right? A lot of shame. And then I also felt like, what are we going to do now? Jones turned to certified, and the company was able to get her money back in June. And I got the call that the money was there at Chase and that they were going to send it back. But that's not always the case. If you're not moving quickly within 24 or 48 hours, the chance of success is minimal. Amy and Michael Furley shared their story with News 6 a few weeks ago. Those emails were fake? Yes. They wired nearly $18,000 from their Wells Fargo bank account after being fooled by a title company imposter. You think you'll ever get it back? Not according to the bank. Wells Fargo tells News 6 they reviewed the Furley case and followed proper protocol, saying in part, quote, a wire transfer deposits money directly into another person's account and is typically irreversible even if fraud is involved. The biggest lesson here is to make a call, confirm the facts, and make sure the account you're dealing with is legitimate, or you could be the next victim. Mike Holfeld getting results. News 6.